call this right first. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Better luck next time, Landry. Charmander! Charmander! <laughs> It's that part of winter where our food storages go low and we get so tired, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Shall we take a nap? I'm already on it. On the table, we are taking rides on rebooted Ben 10 vehicles. We have the Diamond Head Power Tank, Launch Dense Diamond Detonator. That's fun to say. And we have the Heat Blast Rocket Flyer. Fires Molten Missiles. It's always fun checking out vehicles for action figures of this size. And Playmates Toys usually does a pretty reasonable job with them. Like with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Voltron. Let's start with what we are looking at Diamond Head Power Tank. It includes exclusive Diamond Head. On the back of the box, we have an image of the power tank, some of the things that it can do, crystal cannon launcher. I always find it funny, you build this large vehicle and then you add just a little one projectile thing on the front. Hopefully the turning turret and the diamond driller will redeem that tiny projectile launcher up front. Tracking from Diamond Head's crystalline planet Petropia, the power tank is diamond hard and composed of organic green crystals. Formed with a diamond driller for penetrating the hardest surfaces and a crystal cannon that launches dense diamond detonators, this battle vehicle will dismantle anything that gets in its way. Well alright, let's remove and see what this power tank can do. Outside of the box, the diamond head power tank with exclusive diamond head. Hi there! Pretty spiffy looking tank. Looks like we have to do a little bit of cosmetic meddling with these stickers, so let's uh, install those up a little bit. Alright, those few stickers brighten up the tank quite a bit. How about this diamond head figure? Looks like he's wearing some knight-like face protection, and his back diamond stalks are a little thicker and more abundant. Pretty much the same size and height of your first original Diamond Head figure. Hello. Hello. Bye. Bye. Pretty good action figure. Looks like there's plenty of articulation in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, knees, and head. Ouch. A, a little help here. Yeah, yeah. What happened here? Oh boy. So that's always good to see when they spare no expense with the action figure with the vehicle. Sometimes they give you a dumbed down figure to make up the costs for the vehicle, but in this case we have a really solid diamond head figure. Okay diamond head, hop in. Inside he goes, although it looks kind of dangerous with that diamond driller head right above your head. You might want to turn that around. Ah, there we go. Unfortunately, there's really not too much movement in that driller head. It would have been nice to see some articulated joints here and here, but those are solid. The only points we really have is to rotate here and at the very end. And we can rotate though and do a simulated drill, which is kind of fun. Really reminds me of something. What is that? And up front we have the crystal cannon launcher. Let's give that a try. I think the action button is right here. And that fires about four feet, four to five feet. Again, it always seems funny they go through so much trouble to make a vehicle and all it really does up front is shoot one projectile. I don't know how many Batmobiles I've gone through with that action feature. At least have a couple features up front, right? However, this is just a medium class vehicle design so it can't be that fancy. Oh, there we go, the rotating turret's pretty neat. And in some ways, I'm surprised they included that feature. Now if I could just figure out what that drill in the back reminds me of. Rubble on the double! Oh no. What you drilling for, Diamond Head? Stuff. Awesome! I'll help you out! Oh great. Just yelp for help! Well, at least now I know what that reminds me of. 
Funny, is that the first time the Paw Patrol actually showed up on the channel? Alright, let's check out Heat Blast's Rocket Flyer. Heat Blast Rocket Flyer on the table fires molten missiles, includes exclusive Heat Blast. On the back of the box, an image of the Rocket Flyer. Flip open canopy molten missiles, fire blast missile launchers. Pretty sharp lava paint job as well. Blazing in from Heat Blast's bright planet Pyros, the Rocket Flyer is the perfect vehicle to navigate through the scorching hot air. Fierce planetary conditions make it ideal for the locals to spend their days putting the extreme in extreme sports. With twin rocket engines and launchers that fire burning molten missiles, this vehicle is a blast. We have to see it now after that ride up. And outside of the package, whew, that was probably one of the toughest openings ever. Very low profile rocket flyer so far. Let's install these back fins. Kind of an odd secondary add on. And let's pop in these molten missile projectiles. All right, I think we're ready to go now a little closer. Oh wait, there's a few stickers too. There we go. Not a bad little flyer. As for Heat Blast, how's it going, Heat Blast? Pretty good. I have a flight suit. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Comparing you up to normal Heat Blast, it's pretty much the same thing looking like, but with that flight suit you speak of. And again, like Diamond Head, lots of articulation on these figures. With shoulders, elbows, there's no waist with Heat Blast but there is hips and knees, and some head rotation. And it looks like even full 360, even with that flight suit on the collars there. All right, pretty good. All right, Heat Blast, hop in your flyer and show us what you have. Ah, I see, it's one of those lay face down on the controls type of thing. Well, again, very flat profile going on with this. Looks like we have a nice little ski sled on the bottom with a landing gear of three. Has a little bit of a good glide to it. Paint both on top and bottom with the yellow on the lava markings. That is really sharp. And for firing those projectiles, looks like we have little buttons on the wings. Whew, that's a cool sound. Yeah, did you hear those springs? Let's try that one more time. Kind of a high note on those springs on the firing. Not too much else on the little flyer, it's just a simple little toy for putting your figure in and giving him flight. But with a fun spicy design, should give you some fun time with it. Nice looking craft. Well there they are, the two Ben 10 vehicles of today. They're pretty simple action toys, not too much to them, but there's some play value there. If you like projectiles, face flying, and a ground drilling. I think I like these equally, there's not one that's better than the other. Mostly because they are vastly different, one being a tank, one being a flyer. It's up to you which one you would like to play with more, or which alien is more of your favorite. Fun to see these vehicles, they are no rust bucket for sure, but they enhance the play value of your Ben 10 toys. They're great for working with other toys. I don't know about that, Rubble. See you guys later. Oh boy. Ben 10, Diamond Head Power Tank, and Heat Blast Rocket Flyer arrive on store shelves. January 2018, they run approximately $15 a piece. If you're a fan of the Ben 10 aliens and need a ride for them, these vehicles will do that. With firing projectiles, and places to sit, you'll have somewhere to transport an alien. However, if you're looking for something more practical, check out the Paw Patroller. It can hold a lot of squirrels. That's what I have to say about that. Squirrel Patrol, Squirrel Patrol, up up in the tree. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Ha 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 ha! 
Charmander! Charmander! Oh man, we missed the end credits too!